my favorite Basso Continuo treatise is by Jean-Francois Dandru, and in this video we're going to play through it together. So if you're a keyboardist that's interested in learning Basso Continuo, or you already know some things about Basso Continuo and you would just like a daily practice routine, get out your instrument and let's play through the Dandru together. <laughs> exercises in the dendru, I'm going to put up the pages on the screen so you don't need another device or printed out copy of the work. The way the dendru works is you see a bunch of extra figures, more than you'd see in real music, that tell you what order to place your fingers in the right hand, i.e. how to voice the chord. And this method is one where you learn how to do voice leading just by practicing it, which is why it's my favorite one. When I use this treatise, the way I generally use it is to play through all of it in a single day before I start practicing other things. The way I recommend you use this video, however, is to practice each page individually with the video stopped, so you're just looking at the screen. And then when you feel ready, you can practice that exercise along with me. And you can keep working through the book that way until you eventually can play through the whole thing with me or on your own. This video will be at A440, but there's another video that I'll put out that's at A415. If that's the pitch you need to play along with, you can find that here. So you can switch over now if you want to. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in learning more about Basso Continuo or about the harpsichord or about early music in general, please subscribe to my channel where I put out videos about all of those topics. Okay, let's begin. Okay, here's the first exercise. It's on page nine of the PDF, and I'm gonna count off four beats and each of those is going to be the length of a whole note. So it's going to be the whole measure. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, here's the second exercise. It's on page 11 of the PDF that you can find on IMSLP. And I'll do the same sort of count off. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, here's a third exercise. It's on page 13 of the PDF. I'll do the same kind of count off where each number is a whole measure. One, two, three, four. Okay, here's the next exercise. It's on page 15 of the PDF. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, you may have noticed that I'm holding over some notes from one chord to the other, even if the numbers are different. So that's how you do real continual playing. You hold over from one chord to the other, one chord to the other, whenever possible, unless you have a strong beat. So then I'm restriking. So you can kind of tell how that works from how I'm playing, but just try to imitate what I'm doing. Okay, here's the next exercise. It's on page 17 of the PDF. And I'll count off the same way I have, with each number being a full measure. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Here's the next exercise. It's on page 19 of the PDF. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Here's the next exercise. It's on page 21 of the PDF. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
the next exercise. It's on page 23 of the PDF. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Exercise. It's on page 25 of the PDF. One, two, three, four. <laughs> exercise. It's on page 27 of the PDF. One, two, three, four. <laughs> on page 29 of the PDF. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
next exercise. It's on page 31 of the PDF. One, two, three, four. Here's the next exercise. It's on page 33 of the PDF. One, two, three, four. exercise it's on page 35 of the PDF one two three four <laughs> Thank you. 
Here's the next exercise. It's on page 37 of the PDF. One, two, three, four. Here's the next exercise. It's on page 39. One, two, three, four. Here's the next exercise. It's on page 41 of the PDF. One, two, three, four. Here's the next exercise. It's on page 43 of the PDF. One, two, three, four. the next exercise. It's on page 45 of the PDF. One, two, three, four.
exercise, which is on page 47 of the PDF. One, two, three, four. exercise, which is on page 49 of the PDF. One, two, three, four. exercises. There are a few rules of the octave in many keys, not all the keys, but in many keys, both in major and minor, that come on the pages following. So if you want to check that out, you can look at the version of the Dan Drew um, Principles of Accompaniment on IMSLP, for free obviously, and you can find them there. They're at the end of that PDF. Okay, that's all for today. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell so that you get notified every time I put out a new video. And if you like this video, please give it a like and leave me a comment with any questions below and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching.